Hi, my name is Andrzej Cifka, and in this video, I'm going to introduce our paper Groove to Groove, One-Shot Music Style Transfer with Supervision from Synthetic Data. This work has been published in the Transactions on Audio, Speech and Language Processing, jointly with my PhD supervisors, Gail Richard and Umut Shimshekli. Generally speaking, we are tackling a one-shot style transfer task, where we are given a content input and a style input, and our goal is to transfer the artistic style of the second input onto the first one. In this work, we are not interested in images, but rather in musical accompaniments in popular music and jazz. We are also working with a symbolic representation, more precisely MIDI files, which contain information similar to a musical score. Specifically, our goal is to create a cover or arrangement of one song, the content input, by generating a new accompaniment for it in the style of another song, the style input. In our definition, content represents the harmonic structure of the song, while style corresponds roughly to the accompaniment patterns used in a particular arrangement of the song. Let's listen to an example. We will hear the two inputs, followed by the output generated by our system. Our method is based on supervised learning from synthetic data. To generate the training data, we start from chord charts, here denoted A and B, and use accompaniment generation software to generate accompaniments from them in a large of different style pairs, here denoted S and T. This data is temporally aligned, allowing for fully supervised training of a sequence-to-sequence -sequence neural network. Here is an example from our training dataset. The chord sequence at the top was used to generate the two accompaniments below, one in a jazz swing style and the other in a progressive rock style. During training, these would serve as the content input and the target, respectively. Our neural network is an RNN sequence-to-sequence -sequence model with attention. Unlike classical sequence-to-sequence -sequence models, it has two encoders one for the content input and one for the style input. While the content encoder computes a sequence of feature vectors h1 through hm, which are then processed using the decoder's attention mechanism, the style encoder outputs a single style embedding vector sigma. The content input is represented as a piano roll matrix combining all the instruments, similar to what we saw in the previous slide. On the other hand, the style input and the output are represented as sequences of event tokens, which are more suitable for generation using recurrent neural networks. Since generating multiple instruments jointly is challenging, we avoid doing this by assuming conditional independence between different instruments. This allows us to train the model to generate a single instrument at a time, always conditioned on the corresponding track of the style input. The generated tracks are then put together in a post-processing step. We evaluate the performance of our method using some existing and some newly proposed objective metrics. First, to measure how well the output retains the correct harmonic structure, we compute a measure of harmonic similarity to the content input. Second, to quantify how well the output fits the target style, we define measures of style similarity based on a set of so-called style profiles which capture statistics of musical events. We also conduct an ablation study and explore our learned style embedding space 
by means of interpolation and visualization. We have created an interactive web demo for our system, allowing the user to perform style transfer with their own inputs and with custom settings. This demo is also presented separately at ICAST 2021. Various resources are available online, including the interactive demo, source code, and training data. Thank you for your attention.